Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. This is DSP News. Ladies and gentlemen, this news story is brought to us by a gentleman named Clive Benedict. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, man. And uh, he has presented us with a very interesting situation that's happened over the weekend. I was hoping to take the weekend off. You know what I'm saying? I, I threw a lot of videos at you guys. I'm not sure if you guys really like that or not, but um, my apologies if, you know, if it was a bit of an inconvenience. But he has presented something that couldn't really be overlooked. And I'm sure a lot of you at the time of this recording will send me more information, but this gentleman definitely went beyond and really helped me get started. Essentially, he sent me information on a young lady named Josephine. Um, and this apparently, apparently is Phil's main squeeze. Now, what he did is he presented me with an opportunity to take a look at this information and move from there. With that being said, what I was able to do was uh, do a little bit of investigation as well as Kenny and Kevin, you know how we get down. And uh, some of us found some stuff on Kiwi Farms. Some of us found some stuff on Twitter, obviously. Shouts out the Dragon Killer. And I decided to go to Phil's King of Hate vlogs or King of Hate uh, forums. And ladies and gentlemen, I found some very interesting stuff there, which is what I'll be presenting you today. A, f a longer video will come later on. Um, I'm not sure if it'll be later in the week. It might even be as early as tomorrow. I'm recording this on Monday, Monday money, uh, Monday morning, sorry. <laughs> so you'll see another video either Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on how that works out. Ladies and gentlemen, this young lady is, if it's really her, is a bit, she's impressive. Um, our friend Benedict was able to give us some really good references on her full name was able to give us a little bit of her academic background and he gave us a bonus as it pertains to phil's tax situation ladies and gentlemen we have probably because even he's not completely sure on it and we're doing some like uh so we're doing some reference checking on our side to see if we can try to verify but we may actually have the name as well as the full references of phil's tax attorney in connecticut or tax or accountant. However, it's very, very interesting what this guy has presented to us. So to C. Benedict, I very much appreciate what you've done, man. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about this lady, Josephine, who's allegedly Phil's main squeeze. If it is her, she, uh, I gotta say, I'm impressed. I, I gotta be honest with you. She's, uh, if you're into redheads, she's, she's, she has very beautiful red hair. She seems to be a very lovely lady. And as Benedict had pointed out to us, she seems to be someone who may be trying to save the world. She may have been a fan of his. And in turn, she may have slipped right in after the breakup, which, you know, I guess stuff like that happens, right? So with that being said, as it pertains to this breakup and as it pertains to, you know, Phil's state of mind, she may have been trying to be a, uh, a shoulder to cry on, maybe. But whatever the case may be, if it is her, she's been spending the last couple days with Phil, comforting him through the holiday season. Now, is it really her or not? I don't really know. Looking at this young lady's credentials, she seems to be a pretty smart, she seems to be a pretty smart cookie, but um, who could say? If she's one of those, you know, I want to save the world type of people, one person at a time, then maybe that's what the situation is. Ladies and gentlemen, we will get into that at a later time and date. What I will do though, in this video, is I'm gonna to present to you what Phil's uh, community thinks about her. Oh, and ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's very interesting. I think it's something that you guys need to know. And more importantly, there was a comment made by someone who was a longtime supporter of Phil, who had some not so nice things to say about Leanna. <laughs> Referring to any woman in your life as a speed bump, 
is a bit harsh. A bit harsh than usual, I would think. It's a bit much. But apparently this guy thought it was appropriate. And there's some concerns about if this information was able to get out, how people would use it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not here to spin the story to you in any type of way, shape, or form. I'm only presenting it to you, for the most part, as I see it, as it's being presented to me. And that's exactly how you're going to get it. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go into GTG Radio, which you can hear in the background. And I'm going to go ahead and let you view what Phil's community thinks of this young lady in your entirety. Later on, as I said, there'll be another video, maybe two, where we'll get to uh, put together... Uh, what everybody else is thinking about it in the speculation. There are some people that are already shooting it down. There's some people saying it's not her. There's some people saying that they're just happy for him. There's some people who are looking at how to do damage control. It's it's a very interesting situation. So all I'm going to do is present you what's exactly on the forums. And you'll have some music in the background. Please enjoy. And I will come in probably towards the end. And uh, I'll give you some final thoughts before I keep it moving. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is... DSP news, always late, never breaking, unreliable coverage that you can't count on. A GTG network and productions. You know the slogan. So here we go.
Ladies and gentlemen, let me cut in for just a second. I figure that uh, this would be relevant to you guys. So today is currently, uh, it's November 11th, which Phil should be coming back to work today. <laughs> work. But um, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about Phil's Patreon for just a second. This information was posted up 12 hours ago. Apparently, Phil only has about 174 people who have actually uh, participated, and he's only at $859. That's 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 pretty short of that goal. Uh, what's he shooting for? He's shooting for a stretch goal of 2,000. He hasn't even made the grand yet. That's that's not very good, ladies and gentlemen. So I would expect, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not a prophet, but I would expect that he will be uh, in full begging mode when he gets back. Apparently, he had himself a good time, spent himself a good amount of money looking at a uh, very expensive tequila, looking at uh, looking at uh, replicas of weapons and doing all kinds of silly stuff like that. Some people says he even has a new dog. That should be interesting and whatnot. Uh, hopefully, uh, the dog likes bologna and um, all these other things on his time off. But he hasn't made the Patreon goal. Not even close, actually. Now, granted, most of you are like, hey, Golden or GTG. It's only the 11th, man. He has plenty of time. That's true. That's very, very true. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, even though the goal itself is only supposed to be 1250, he's trying to go for that 2000. He really needs that $2,000 to help with his tax problem. And he's a long way off being that he's 11 days in. I'm just saying, don't be wrong. I'm sure on the stream today, people will throw money at him because he's going to trickle out some information about this, uh, this young lady that's in his life. But, uh, I gotta tell you, this is some very, it, it's, it's looking shaky from the start. It's looking all right. Maybe it, it's not, it's not great. You know what I'm saying? He certainly could do it. You know, they came up with $859 in, you know, 11 days. So obviously they could meet the goal. They might even go over it, but we'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll try to keep giving you guys uh, continuing coverage on that, but I thought it was something to bring up and back to GTG radio. Ladies and gentlemen, let me cut back in one more time. Um, so it's kind of like running a real radio station to a degree. <clears throat> let's go back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go on a field trip and whatnot. Back to when uh, Leanna's brother's wedding, right? Let's get back to that for a minute. I guess someone has tweeted out, probably Phil, has tweeted out about, you know, the real reason they didn't go to that wedding is because they were afraid they were going to get swatted. Uh, you remember the story. You know what I mean? He didn't. They didn't want to ruin the wedding, so on and so forth. I've commented on it as well as other people, I feel that he robbed Leanna from a, a situation that she'll never really get again. You know what I mean? And he, if he wasn't going to go, he should have sent her. That's, you know, true for the matter is that's what should have happened. But someone, but a uh, dragon killer actually brings up a very interesting point in the fact that you told everybody about the situation, about the wedding and the day of, you know, the day that it was happening. So did you purposely do this so you could stay home and play Fallout 4? Now, granted, we all know that's the rumor that's been going around for a while. It sounds plausible. But what do you guys think, ladies and gentlemen? How do you feel about the wedding situation with uh, with Leanna's brother? Should she or should Phil have sent her at least and whatnot? If he wasn't going to go, that's fine. For whatever reason that he didn't want to go, play Fallout, you want to jerk off, whatever the case may be. But should he have at least sent her? And is it plausible that Phil purposely put the information out there as provocation for him not to go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's a stretch. That's very possibly, that's a pretty big stretch and whatnot. And it is kind of convenient that he was swatted when he did, which people have been talking about that for a long time too, thinking that that shit was planned. But what do you guys think? I never had a real chance to talk to you guys in particular about that situation. So, you know, if you guys wouldn't mind 
you know, take a few minutes, let it kind of go through as you're listening to GTG radio and let me know what you guys think about that situation. How do you feel? Is it possible that Phil could have orchestrated that on purpose? It's a stretch, but even still, it's still interesting in its own right. So let me know. And back to GTG radio.
water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. The water can flow or it can crash. The water, my friend. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's try to finish this strong, okay? So, as it pertains to, uh, as it pertains to uh, our new love lady interest here, um, Josephine, I believe her name is, if, if she's real, I would have to say, I mean, not if she's real, she's obviously a real person, I, I've, I've been able to verify that, um, if, if this is legit, this is something impressive. Now, keep in mind, I'm, I'm jumping on Kiwi Forms a little bit, and some people believe that she's actually just a fan, and that she actually may have came with somebody else. Another female, a friend of hers, because <laughs> I know most people have been saying it's probably a trap, and um, actually came out there with him. So Phil may have actually had two ladies in the house. A lot of people also look at the situation as, it's no way it's her. It's just no way, not at all. This, this, she's way out of his league. She's, she's first off, she's pretty. She's kind. She's intelligent. What, what was she seeing, Phil? So, and those are some pretty valid arguments. Somebody also pointed out that, in truth, okay, in truth, Phil being able to, to you know, leave a relationship and jump into another one in two months seems kind of fishy. It seems a little far-fetched for even Phil to be able to move that quickly. We've all seen Phil. We all see how he lives. We all see how he conducts himself. How would he be able to pull another woman that quickly? Especially one of this caliber. Th there are some there are some concerns here, ladies and gentlemen, but we're gonna continue the coverage of it as it goes along. This will be up today. It should be up before Phil actually starts streaming. And you might get another video, like I said, tomorrow or Wednesday, or if I'm feeling real, if I'm, you know, if the, me and the boys are feeling real special over here, we might actually get another video out later on today. We'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts on this? I, I'm sure some of you know about this. Some of you guys might be brand new to it, but let us know what you think as it pertains to the situation. Like I said, I want to finish this, this uh, broadcast off, fin um, off strong. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm glad a lot of you guys seem to like GTG radio and whatnot. And, um, it was a bit of more of a Street Fighter theme because Phil's been bringing up some more of that little, of his little Evo, not little, but his fourth, <laughs> uh, I guess we'd have to ask her about that, uh, about his fourth place finish at Evo back in what, 2005, I think. He's been still harping up on that. And on Kiwi, for, on Kiwi Forms, Farm, sorry, on their forms, they've been talking a lot about his, his uh, fifth place or his fourth place finish also. And... You know, you're getting to see the actual match. You're seeing how he's getting beat. It's very interesting. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, that's not the point of this. The point of this is to go ahead and put everything into perspective as best we can. So I thought going with a Street Fighter theme would make sense. Ladies and gentlemen, I will have more information for you guys later on as it pertains to the Street Fighter story. Why is there so much interest in it? I will get to that hopefully this week and we'll find out what the deal is with it because it is very interesting that people would bring that up. But more likely, Phil brought it up. So there you go with that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is DSP News. Always late, never breaking, unreliable coverage that you can't count on. A GTG Network and Productions. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, the world is a very scary yet intriguing place, especially with people like Phil in it and this young lady. So if you guys have any information, if there's anything that you guys want to drop down in the comment section, it's always appreciated as usual. And like I said, let's finish this strong. And we're going to finish it with someone that I think some of you guys are familiar with. I went ahead and had uh, put one of his skits in a couple of videos ago. So hopefully you guys like it. So let's go ahead and get into it. And have a good day. Shit is fine. No nigga, I can spit better than that. Boy, you 
smacked ain't nothing better than this, young. Okay, watch, let me show you. Go ahead, then. It's heavy season, I'm strapped through it. Got a couple tools, I clap and shoot. You ain't even got the heart to smash a fruit. I smack your bitch ass back to roots. You hesitate at times, you have to shoot. My Desi breaks spines, backs and boots. Think I'm playing for the cash and jewels. These headshots will blast your roots. I don't gotta tell you, give me all the paper before I put your home like a coordinator. You don't wanna let the semi auto blazer. We trading autos like auto trader. You better die for my bullets ram. I never hesitate to pull it, fam. Give up the money like a hand me off for this text. Spit like Santa Sharp. Thank you.